Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this specific video we are going to discuss about how can we insert fake data or dummy data in our Laravel application. So guys why would you do that? For example you want to test your Laravel web application by using the records. So in that case what you need to do is you need to insert the form again and again to create those records into the database. And the other workaround would be to come here and access the table and insert the fields manually. But guys there is an efficient way to do that and we are going to discuss that right now. So first of all uh, I want to mention that I'm using a fresh Laravel project right here you can see the project name is Excel one so now let's move to git bash and let's implement that okay so what I need to do is first of all I need to access my project htdoc cdc zamp htdocs and project name is Excel one okay now what I need to do is I have the database created right here you can see Excel one but I don't have any tables so let's migrate the table php artisan migrate that's it okay and you can see our tables are migrated so let me show you in the database right here so you can see we don't have any records right here so let's create some record for testing purpose just to show you that it works perfectly fine okay so now what I'm going to do is I am in the same project directory and I'm going to write php artisan tinker okay by using tinker we are going to create fake data or dummy data for a Laravel application. So just in case if you are using Laravel 9 and PHP version 8, you can simply do that. The command that I'm writing, you just need to copy and paste. That's it. Okay. Let's say if you have older version of Laravel or PHP, there might be slight changes in the command, but it should work perfectly fine using the tinker. So let me, uh, first of all, I need to create data inside user table. So I'm going to access user model because I want to insert in the user table. So user, then I'm going to use factory. I'm going to define the count that I want. In this case, let's say I want 10 records and I just need to create them. That's it. Okay. I'm going to put a semicolon, hit enter and you can see it's working and right here so it's done guys it's that simple so let me show you i'm just going to refresh on users table right here okay so now you can see we have 10 records similarly you can create more uh, you can increase the count uh, to the desirable uh, let's say count that you want and that's it guys uh, we don't need to access the uh, laravel application like uh, the home page or etc because we can uh, we are simply using tinker right here so yeah guys that's it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care